So, okay, which reminds me, we got to get to some places because there's some big parts to the MOP story we haven't even gotten to. Okay. We got to jump ahead, I'm guessing, really, to Annie Up, to be honest, because that, I mean... Annie Up, that, good record. You know what, Syph? Hey, hey, shit. 100% right. Syph's hey, back. Hey. Pretty good record. Two records. Now that we got your approval, we're going to move like on. <laughs> and that was it. No, so DR period did that too, right? Yep. What a fucking smash that was. Is that one you guys knew was a smash? Not me. You just thought it was another hard, good I, I, MOP I, I, record. I, I didn't. If he hates it, then we, it's going to be. We know it, we know it should go. You you thought it was big. Yeah, I knew. I knew it was the um, uh, it was the clutch one. I didn't. It's I didn't. Simple, uh, simple as shit. It's like easy to sing along. You know what I mean? Well, it's funny though because it's the most ridiculously fucking hard lyrics that everyone sings. Yeah. Like y'all probably seen the softest people ever sing oh, along yeah. to Annie Up. Oh yeah. And you say kidnap that fool. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. He, <laughs> Kidnap <laughs> that I've been, fool! I've been using yap a lot lately. <laughs> I, I brought yap back, yo. Like yesterday, I was like, yo, I'm yapping your Doritos. <laughs> Just yap them. Why not? <laughs> um, I found return of yap. And the original was big. I mean, it popped off. I found, I found my favorite MOP. All right, we'll get there. Hold on. Don't 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 do it, Sype. Don't do it. Yet. Oh, okay. Uh, so did Flex go ham right away with Annie up? Yes. This yeah. one he went right in. Yeah. No question about it. We, we Ape shit. Sure. Well, we Flex called, was a different person. We called Flex into the studio. And had him do uh, cut up the intro before right, for the, the album. Songs. I was like, you know what? I ain't gonna let Flex sleep on this one. I'm gonna <laughs> knock on this door. Put like, him on the album. Yeah, Yo, you're, you're gonna be you're on, on the, the album. album. <laughs> I wanna make sure. Yeah. Now he went. He went off on the record. And honestly, the record didn't really take off. Um, I remember. Yeah, shout out to to Steve Rifkin and Loud and Richie Isaacson. They didn't like the record, and they liked the record we had called G Building. And um, they, they said, hold on, real quick. They preferred G Building. Yeah, uh, Steve Annie was a great record man. All, you know, he it's just a, no, it's just records. crazy to hear. Like G building, I was at college radio at the time, right? So this is this is where I start getting the conversation of I was actually watching it happen. Yeah, G building came out first. They sent it yeah. DJs. It was cool. Yeah, the good good MOP, but it didn't hit you in the heart. It was just a nice solid MOP song. Right. Yeah, you heard the second I put the needle on Annie up, I was like, holy yeah, shit. fucking noise! Like, yeah, it's crazy. It, it, I remember Flex played that shit in the tunnel, man. Yeah, that's crazy. That yeah. shit was like that shit was just on fire, like yeah, fire. Yeah, like we were performing in that motherfucker. They just played the record. That was a record that Flex. I think Flex broke the record. The record took nine months to really make make any real noise. We, to, we shot a video and then we had to do a remix. And our first choice was DMX, Busta Rhymes, Jay Z, and Mob Deep. And then um, uh, D DMX was committed to Flex's album. Jay Z, uh, Jay was the kind of guy when he wanted to jump on the record, he'll call and say, "Yo, <laughs> yo, can we get on this record?" And I, and I go, "Okay, send me the record." But then when he didn't want to get on the record right away, he kind of you couldn't find him for a couple of weeks. Right, you know right, saying? right. Well, why wouldn't he? I, maybe he just didn't know how to approach that record. Because yeah, that's probably what it was. Because he he liked to drive around and listen to the record back then. He had that little uh, that little what he had a little Range Rover. He drive around and listen to it. Yo, this is it right here. And then he'll call, call yo, I got it. And then he'll go in the studio and just drop it right there. Like it was real organic the way he jumped on the record. And then we put, but then him and Mob Deep was beefing, which was crazy. I'm Prodigy, yeah, yeah, him yeah. and Prodigy's beefing. So then I had Prodigy, Prodigy got on the record, and Prodigy got on the record. And then hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> slow it down. Hold on. You're saying there's a, a ver there somewhere you have the prodigy verse on Anya? Somewhere in the depths of the D and D and the D storage locker and the C murder verse and C murder verse. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, what? <laughs> Yeah. Now, Andy see, up. we had to. We Andy up. What? Andy up. No. That's what he was doing? No. <laughs> really? You're doing the turn up arms to it? It was the turn up arms back then? Well, no, we, we had to. Um, we had to. We had to. We had to pull Havoc. I mean, excuse me, Prodigy off the record. Because at that time, like Larry said, him and Jay had this little situation. And we didn't want nobody. Don't bring your situation to our record. No, he so, tried to, he back then he aired he aired it out on the record. Oh, hey, you. Yeah, yeah, so that's why yeah, we, we was like we can't, we can't we can't. What? Hold on, we got to hear this. Where is this? Where? Where? I'll dig. Yeah, I'll nah, dig. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I mean, if we give it to now, you, we'll it would give be it a, to you. It would be a novelty now. It to, yeah, but wouldn't it be a novelty at this public. point? But, but we can give it to them. Let's give it to the public. Thank you, Fizzy. Fizzy's talking right. Let's go. Fizzy, Fizzy's the business side. I get it. Let's bootleg that motherfucker and get it out. Have it though. You have it. You know where. Wait, you could hear it tonight if you wanted to listen to it. You could. Got it on deck. <laughs> Don't do it. 
Don't do it. I want to hear it so bad. Just play it over the phone. <laughs> Annie up. Annie up. Annie. Yeah, that sounds on okay. C Murder, though, man. Wait, why, so why'd you take C Murder off? C Murder. Well, that was that nigga. because we didn't finish the. Uh, I don't he think late. he. He came late. And he didn't he didn't get to finish uh his ad libs or something. It wasn't always complete, but we have the actual this, verse. And yep, and yep. Was this for Flex's <laughs> album? No. 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 Uh, they did, they put the record on Flex's album at later. Later. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, the part that disappoints me is that someone with the name C Murder would be so non punctual. I really I expect him to be on time for a session. Now no, he wasn't late for the session. Oh, he sorry. just came later in the process. Oh, God, in the process. Okay. <laughs> Either way, punctuality disappoints me. And Buster was so organically incredible on the remix. So the way it started was with, I called Buster, and I was like, yo, Bust, it's your God. I'm going to murder this. So he got on there, and he destroyed it. And then, God bless Pun, um, fame and Pun were real close. And um, Pun was my nigga, man. All right, we're going to get to that. I want to hear about that. Yeah, and then Remy um, was kind of coming out, and we was like, yo, that would be dope. We put Remy on there. Fame was like, yeah, I want to put Remy on it. And then we From, put Remy she was on loud, right? She was on loud, too. Well, yeah. it wasn't even about the label. It was just that he liked pun. Yeah. Because yeah, they yeah. came at us. Well, why wouldn't pun, pun be on it? Pun died. Pun, yeah. pun passed. But oh, I met Remy. Was... When we, oh, when we oh, did I the see. New York the New York Giants, Yeah, like we were staying in the studio for like a week. Yeah, just, right, just bugging out. Like, never finish a record. Yeah. Just, this nigga was just so comical. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So we, I, I met Remy and shit. She, she, she was just spinning balls and balls and balls, balls and shit. Yeah, so I, I hear the verse. I think Lay's put it on the record or something. Yeah, I put it on the record. But I heard the verse. I'm like, nah, we keeping that. So how did the relationship with Pun start, fam? Pun, Pun, I don't even Joe. remember, man. Through Joe, I believe. Yeah, yeah, through Joe. Through Fat Joe. Just seeing, um, yeah, we used to do shows with Joe. Like fucking, uh, and I don't know. Pun, we, dude, remember we was in- um, Sunset Park. No, not not Sunset Park. We were there too, Sunset but- Lounge. No, in D.C., and oh, Pun got yeah, on the yeah. stage. That's when I really I realized how big he was. Physically or yeah. popular? Yeah, no, physically how big he was. But, dude, he held the wimp, stage yeah. like a fucking, yeah. like a, like a fucking skinny dude. I'm going, he, I'm like, what the Yo, fuck? Pun, how's he doing that? So Crazy. Good. Like that whole, them terror squad niggas, all of them. Yeah. Like we, we love them niggas. Well, they, they, they like our kind of people. They you know roll I mean? deep like a whole bunch of Puerto Ricans. They, they, yeah, uh, yeah, probably because yeah. they are a whole bunch of Puerto Ricans. Exactly. <laughs> like they can't, Stereotypes they click, are real. They click and my click, we like twins. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Besides, they be fat. They Spanish or Latin. Whatever. <laughs> no, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, we street dudes, so we, we got along perfect. Yep. And, and Pun, when Pun was coming up and shit, we, I supposed to been on Pun. We supposed to been on Pun first album. Of course. I mean, you all were. It didn't work out. It didn't work. I don't know the time it didn't work out or whatever. You well, still weren't on loud. Were you almost on loud? We were um, making your way over to loud right yeah. then. We were on relativity at the time, I believe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we were, we were, uh, we were puns. One puns, of first puns record was on relativity. Album, favorite right. groups with MOP. Yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. Well, what about Biggie? What was the relationship like with Biggie? That's what I was gonna ask. Biggie. Yeah, big, big, big from my neighborhood. From know the hood, Biggie, way, you know, Biggie come through the hood. Way back. He's yeah, he, he used to. Party. He used, like to, he used to hustle. Yeah. He used to hustle. He used to rap like Chub Rock. Boy, nigga. <laughs> he used to hustle for a nigga down the hill from, from like two blocks from where I live, right on the corner. That's when shit was rough, rough, rough. But Big used to be out there, him and his baby moms. You know what I mean? Getting it. <laughs> so you saw him even before you saw him back in the day. I know Big yeah. way back. Like, yeah. Count we had like 60 something records count on count Big before going to, going to anybody knew it before shit, you know anybody mean? had any of his records. You'd wow. heard 60 something songs? Yeah, we had a lot of records from Big. What do you like mean from, before, like, you Like, heard? a lot of records. Like, we all was doing records. Everybody was doing records. So we had done a them lot together? of- done them together? No. Okay. No, no, no. Just no. chilling. <laughs> we did one record. Yeah. What record? That was you... even more big. That was Red Hot Love a Red Hot Love a Tone. Oh, the Red Hot Love a Tone yeah. record. Yeah. With yeah. Tone, um, but Big, Big from my neighborhood or whatever, man. I remember Big, Big Ramen. When, when I first met Big, it was, um- the <laughs> Talk the right projects, into it. The projects. <laughs> the projects before they tore them down, they had like a block party or whatever. And they, they was out there DJing or whatever. Like, I hear a nigga, I'm walking to the block party and shit. I hear this nigga sound like Chub Rock. Yeah. You know, I remember the day. But yeah, I, I used to pick yeah. him up the, the DJ I, the set. I it, thought, wait, I thought mm. Chub, I thought, I'm like, yo, Chub Rock is in the plaza. <laughs> <laughs> I go down there, then I heard you too. Yeah. I heard you too. I'm like, <laughs> oh shit, this nigga down there getting rock, getting rocking with, with Chub Rock. <laughs> I go down there, I see fame. Where's Chop Rock? <laughs> I'm looking for Chop Rock. Biggie got the mic again, and lo and behold, it was Chop Rock. Who was his body? Who were the niggas <laughs> yeah, talking shit in the barbershop? I don't know, man. Don't ask me, man. We don't. Here, here, what are you yeah. doing, man? What's the matter <laughs> with no, you, Cypher? I want to know. 
He I wants know. to know. They was talking shit in the barbershop. We don't, we don't know who was talking shit in the barbershop. Oh, you, you let him know.